So uh, welcome to our, our 150th historical talks. Um, the, if you haven't found them yet, the restrooms are downstairs, at the, right at the bottom of the stairs. Um, we don't have any beverages this morning. We'll have a lunch, though, um, during the middle of the day, and we'll walk out to a tented area for that. Um, but there is a soda machine out and to the right if you're interested in some beverages. And then um, if you haven't already, please complete a health assessment form. That's a Lehigh requirement that you do that and you wear masks when you're indoors. Um, so we appreciate you doing that for us and just make sure you put your name and the date on it. Um, and then uh, again, since we're recording, if everybody could silence your cell phones right now, please, so we don't have an interruption, I'd appreciate that. And um, again, we'll have speakers remove masks only while they're here at the podium and socially distance from everyone. And now I'm going to turn it over to um, uh, George Luxbacher, who is our current AIME president, the 2020 president, to say a few words to welcome you all. And then we'll um, do a quick uh, about 50 minute video that SPE created for AIME's 150th anniversary. And it'll be the first formal use of that uh, full video. So we appreciate you all uh, being here today. and. Uh, Look forward to having a nice lunch with you as well in a little bit. Okay, first of all, I'd like to welcome everyone here on behalf of the AIME Board of Trustees and our Executive Director, Michelle, uh, to uh, our 150th annual meeting of AIME. Uh, very few organizations make this milestone. It's something we're quite proud of that we're able to do this, and we look forward to our 175th and our 200th annual meeting. This actually happens to be the fourth meeting that we've held here at Bethlehem. Uh, the society was founded in May 1871 in Wilkes-Barre, Wilkes-Barre, Pennsylvania, right up the road, and the first what we considered the first technical meeting, although that first meeting included technical papers that had uh, a number of technical papers. The first technical meeting that was actually planned as a technical meeting was held here on campus at Lehigh in August of 1871 in Packer Hall, which is right up in the center of campus. Uh, the president of Lehigh offered us space to put the archives and meeting room for AIME here on Lehigh campus. It was declined because the organization was still trying to figure out where it was going to be. Was it a nationwide organization, which is what the intent was, and the fear was if we, uh, ex we decided too early to locate ourselves in the east, the organization wouldn't grow. So that was declined. So you have to wonder what would have happened 150 years ago had we accepted that offer at the time we may be a Lehigh-based organization. We came back here in 1886. We came back here in 1906. Then we've had a few years before we came back here again here in 2021. So a little bit over 100 years, and we're back here once again. Our original plans for this, we have a 150th uh, anniversary planning committee, and several of those individuals who serve on that committee are here in the audience, and others are listening online. The original intent was to do this in May 2021. Unfortunately, uh, the pandemic changed our plans considerably for us as well as the four member societies of AIME. And consequently, we delayed this. Uh, we did meet on, on May 16th. 2021 on the 150th anniversary of the founding in Wilkes-Barre to you know, unveil a plaque in the center of town. And so I encourage you, if you're up that direction, to stop and take a look at the plaque. We have pictures on the AIME website that show that unveiling, and I'll talk a little bit about that this evening uh, at the banquet this evening. But so we started this weekend out with a board of trustees meeting yesterday. We did a plaque unveil on campus here honoring that second meeting. I encourage you to go right below Packer Hall. You'll see our newly installed plaque. Uh, it's properly done. It's on an iron, it's on a steel base that's powder coated to honor AIST. It has a, a high tech aluminum uh, plaque with this, with the engraving on it. The picture is actually phenomenal looking. So for our TMS, uh, that incorporates the technologies from our TMS group, naturally, uh, SPE provided the oil we use, or provided the energy we use to drive the campus for the unveiling, and, a and SME 
did the uh, mining for the, that's right, they did the shovel work to put through everything, get the, our, the materials. So all four societies are represented on that plaque. I encourage you to go over and take a look. We had dinner last night at the Sun Inn. It's interesting. In 1886 and 1906, the headquarters hotel for the annual, for the meeting that was held here was held at the Sun Inn. And so we honored that yesterday by having a fabulous dinner at the Sun Inn. Uh, we'll have talks here today. Uh, we'll have a banquet this evening. I encourage everyone to attend. We'll unveil the Institute flag. For the first time in 100 years, you're going to see what the Institute flag looks like tonight. I assume we have it. Yep. So you'll get an opportunity to see the Institute flag. Uh, here on, camp on the Lehigh campus, you're surrounded by history. Uh, as you parked out front, you probably noticed that next door is the Sealy G. Mudd building right next door. That's the son of Sealy W. Mudd, who we have the Mudd Fund, the AIME Mudd Fund for. He was an AIME president, uh, and he donated a considerable sum to us. Matter of fact, those of us that are my age in the room remember when the Mudd Fund used to give you books, and I have my copy of Free Gold and uh, De Re Metallica that I got courtesy when I joined SME as a student member, I got that courtesy of the Mud Fund. So you'll, so it's neat to see that here at the Fritz Labs right across the street. Fritz is considered the father of the uh, U.S. steel industry and just right across the street. And we, Fritz also happened to chair the 1886 and the 1906 meetings that were held here at Lehigh. He served as the chair. He donated funds to Lehigh to build the laboratory there. AIME and its member societies continue to honor Fritz through the Fritz Medal, which uh, a SME takes over the administration, is currently handing the administration of. So that gives you a brief intro. I don't want to talk a whole lot. I'll be talking at the banquet tonight, so you'll be tired of listening to me. But I uh, just enjoy the talks today, and I really look forward to seeing you tonight. Thank you for coming. We appreciate your attendance. <laughs>